Check my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop kind, I pop pistols. What it do, you two? My name is Beck. Or wait, shit. Oh, Hold up. Fuck. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> My name is Zach, man. He was about to say Zach, man. I swear. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. I just have to chop out for 15 seconds. Okay. What it do, YouTube? My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have another podcast. We have a special guest. We have a lot of topics on deck. So let's just uh, let's introduce everybody, and then we'll get right into it. So uh, you know, um, go around the room. All right. What's up? It's Mason here. I'm gonna cut his ass off real quick. On to the next one. Uh, it's me, Emilio. And I am Zach. Okay, okay. So I don't remember what I wrote down for topics, guys. So I'm going to have to... Right. We started oh, with... Uh, we got Ninja 2.0 oh. real quick. Yeah, yeah, okay. So let me explain this to you guys real quick. We already talked about the other thing that happened. Um... So more backlash from that, basically. Uh, on Reddit, a user went to – he basically made a fake post. Now, it's already been debunked as fake, so that's not the real thing that we're going in on. But Ninja's being affected by this highly. He's losing subs and all that based on the fact of he uh, he banned – or he, he reported a guy or so-called mm -hmm. reported a guy for um, having a high ping so because he had a high ping, he was, yeah, he was reported. And the guy went on record to say, or he was banned, or it was photoshopped or whatever. And that's the current situation that we're in. So Ninja's in a spot where he's, like, losing people, and people are giving him a lot of hate and a lot of backlash. And the problem is is the fact that that's all happening, and he feels like it's unjust. So I'm just kind of here asking you guys what you guys think on this one, because, yeah. Uh, well, I think personally, like just listening to everything, I, I mean, talking about last week, I, I guess it was kind of serious, but it wasn't anything too crazy to lose subs and stuff over. I mean, my, I, I would kind of turn this around and, and really ask, like, is this really about what has been going on or are people just looking for something to, to hate on him? Like, is he just somebody who's not liked? Kind of like a Logan Paul or like somebody that the community just really doesn't like. I feel I feel like you've got a certain amount of time, and then after that time, you know, people are gonna hate on you. People are gonna dislike you, because you know, at the end of the day, like some people just don't want to see you win. Some people just get tired of you, and some people stay loyal, and that's gonna happen no matter who you are. And that's what I think on that. All right. So, what do you guys think? Well, knowing what I know about Ninja, and and I'm not I'm not gonna say I hate him because I I respect I hate him. I re I respect <laughs> how he he blew up off of this game. He took he took the this like the advantage when he could of this new game. He saw it as a new you know spot to try and blow up. Not that he wasn't already kind of a thing on the Halo scene, but we're not gonna get into that. Um, and I I felt like I liked him for like a good three months after the game <laughs> dropped and then it just got like yeah i don't know he got he got real money hungry to me and then he like went hollywood on a lot of people and i don't like people to do that so at the end of the day for me it's a no-go for ninja i mean i i can say too like i'm not a big fan of his maybe it's a little bit biased but i just just the way that he carries himself, and I mean, because when Fort, Fortnite was like a thing, like where it was the main thing, all you would hear about was like, man, did you see, you know, Ninja's new video, or you see this guy who can play Fortnite like crazy. I mean, that was the first person that was absolutely godlike in Fortnite, and everybody wanted to know how to be that good. But I feel like everything just kind of, once we saw better players, or not necessarily better players, but other players who could play uh arguably on the same level as him i just feel like he kind of started to fall off and then with the whole just everything that has been surrounding him all the drama from the start i feel like once you get yourself into one mess people don't forget it like i mean when you think logan paul you just think the the suicide forest like you honestly just want to hate his freaking guts no he did that no one thing. no 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 i i think when i th when i see logan paul i think vine and i i think about those videos where he would just do the splits in the middle of public and everybody would look at him crazy this shit was funny as hell. I mean, yeah, if, if if you knew about him when he was when he was doing Vine, but I mean, I, let's be honest, Vine and then him now are two different people. Oh yeah, 
I hate him I'll now. Keep you <laughs> and I feel like that's also what happened to Ninja. You know, you started, you watch his H1Z1 streams and you're watching him play that game and, you know, he's raging on kids, he's swearing at them, being himself, and then now you, you look at what he's turned into now and you're just like, same same way you look at Logan Paul now, you're just like, man, this dude's changed. I'm going to put it yeah, like I this. I can't help but see fake. I'm going I'm to put it like this. Putting on an act and changing your demeanor is is fine. But you have to remember that when you break character, which is going to happen, which this is what this is, him raging, him reporting people out of nowhere, him cussing, like, that's him breaking character. And that's the thing, is that when that happens, the internet is not the kindest place. And then they will rip you apart. And, and that's, that's why being fake is nowhere near always the best. Exactly, and you should just you should just be yourself. But uh, Zach, do you have anything you want to add into this? Like, I really don't, because I mean, you well, know, just just give us like an outsider point of view. I mean, give us like if you if you don't know Ninja, you don't watch any of his stuff. Like, give us what kind of image he gives off to you, just on the outside looking in. Being honest, from what I'm hearing, what I've seen, what I've heard, he. That, yeah, he sounds like he broke character. He sounds like, you know, he was fake and, you know, now he's been exposed and now the world and, well, not the world, but the internet is just going to absolutely, you know, despise him. He, he is the boogeyman right now. I have to say something about this and this is it. Like, we've never seen growth in a multiplayer game like that, like in Fortnite since Call of Duty, right? Yeah. When you think of Call of Duty, I don't know about you guys, but I still think Allie. Like, I, or right now, I think Scump. So shout out to the Green Wall. Anyways, but I think Allie. And Allie gave him the foundations. But just like Allie, he's got he's to gotta realize that at some point in time, people are going to make fun of your, uh, your clickbait. People are going to make fun of your, uh, your corniness. And, you know, it's not always going to be hunky-dory. And people will, like come to his aid and talk to about talk about like how how positive he's being, and I'm just like you know, I really can't speculate on how he is off camera, but ev- whenever I look at him, whenever I watch his streams or his videos, everything about it seems fake. But as a rebuttal to my own thing there, just to make, like put this out there, like there's really not that many streamers or people that like don't seem fake you know or well, don't i i feel like he's trying to please everybody like i feel like you just have to accept the fact that you're just not going to please everybody mental but, breakdowns happen when you try to please everybody yeah it, well and that's that's what happened i mean he like he it was a simple thing of just getting stream sniped i mean he could have just been like oh good kill moved on but no he like flipped out for like no reason he blew it way out of proportion and like that's what happens you blow your character and then you look even worse for blowing your character if he had never made up all this stuff about swearing and trying to be kid friendly and all this everyone would have just been like oh it's just a normal you know flip out like doctor disrespect or whatever but he created this picture of like i'm this perfect guy and i'm going to be perfect and then when you break the perfect then you're going to get ridiculed for it while we're on the topic of clickbait, how do you guys feel about that? Like, how do you guys feel about how it's taking over the internet? I personally think that it's, like, kind of, like, a necessary evil. Like, it's not as bad as people say. Like, there's a difference between clickbaiting completely, but, like, there, slight clickbait to make you click on a video, that's advertising. That's been around since, like, advertising was a thing. So, I, I don't know. People that say clickbaiting is terrible or you know, try to shame you for it. I, I'm not on that wave. You know, I feel like there's an extreme and then there's a lesser extent, but I'm I'm not on that wave. What do you guys think? <laughs> oh man, I have an opinion on this. So like, I'm, I'm going to put this as an example. So I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. The ones on the clickbait on Facebook about, you know, the rock and how he's done. And like the image shows like he's crying. He, you know, he's completely and totally destroyed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, no, I couldn't believe and, that one. And I'm sitting there and I was like, oh, you know, what, what happened? I mean, this is the rock. This has like been my childhood idol for like ever. So I sit there and I go look at it. And then it, it completely turns into this advertisement for 
you know, <laughs> muscle powder. And it's like, <laughs> why? why? Like, I, I, I came here looking to be brokenhearted, and now I'm just mad. Because, I mean, it's like, don't get me wrong. You got to put your stuff out there. You do. And the, the way they did it, it, they did it properly. You know, they brought in a big name actor, a big name wrestler, so on, you know. No, 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 no. That's the perfect example of negative clickbait. That's because, well, okay, well, first things first. There's no such thing as bad publicity. We all, hey, hey, it doesn't matter. No. Hey, hey, all of it's good. No matter if it's bad or if it's good. As long as people are looking, it's whatever. But here's my thing. That's negative clickbait. That's what makes people upset because I guarantee you they did not pay The Rock for that advertisement. No, probably not. And, Although yeah. I'm not paying Ninja for this thumbnail, but... <laughs> <laughs> And and you know what? That's my thing though too. It's just like click, clickbaiting in, in a sense is okay when if maybe you're kind of blowing something out that's not necessarily completely true, but it's still kind of relevant to your video. I feel like that's fine. But when you're absolutely just demolishing a, a video, like for example, you, for example, like if we put on a thumbnail with a picture of like. Um, with like you know the black matter camo and then we said uh, how to get uh, black matter camo in seconds and then it goes to this podcast people would be annoyed furious so yeah. that 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 to me is like that's crazy that's that's too much but then if you're talking about like clickbait where you're like okay i guess i can kind of see where that's relevant and you're you're just or you put like a thumbnail of something that was in your video and you know it's, it's not there all the way to the end, and the people who don't watch it all the way are gonna think you're clickbaiting. But I think as long I think as long as it's in your video to some extent, you talk about it or you cover it or you have a video of something, I think that it's fine. But if you if you're doing like that, like we said, where you absolutely just you just go away with it, you know what I'm saying? You go out of your extreme to make it look like it's gonna be something that you really want to watch, and then it goes. It goes somewhere else. It goes to a different place. Like, for example, you think that happened to the rock, and now you're looking at muscle powder to try to get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's me. That's too far. That, that's Yo, tell me, tell me the muscle powder was called like rock dust. <laughs> you know, I think I, I think I have a screenshot of it. Hold on, hold on. Let me look it up uh, and find out what what the name of this is, because. I, I was I was so mad, but I was like, you know, but I kind of want to try it now. Yeah, we're gonna have to pop up the the screenshot. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, he well looks on that, that though, yeah. let's uh, let's uh, we have Swallow seventy six to talk about. Now, I haven't really played it, but I heard that you are uh, pretty experienced and have been playing it for a while now, uh, Zach. So tell me, tell me what's up. Tell me the juicy bits. Okay, so you know, you you start it and all. You start, you know, as you normally would. You start it as you know, oh, you know, it, it tells you the story of you know what's happened and what's gonna happen, so on and so forth. What you're gonna be doing. You get to create your character and then you you know, do what you create your character and you you leave. And the the main thing is, it's really difficult to make caps. It's really difficult to follow much of a storyline because everything is literally random. Like the one main story thing is following your overseer's advice. Spoiler alert. Sorry. Um, so, like, <clears throat> I mean, overall, it's pretty much all out for, but you're forced into hardest difficulty and you're forced into survival mode like there there really is there's no choice in that you are playing with dehydration you're playing with your hunger you know you get diseases wow. you get radiation you have to deal with the radiation otherwise there's not even it, that many npcs i heard right no the like the only people i've run into like shop related are robots that's it and they're See, less, like once every like two three cities so See, if there's I, no NPCs and no story, what's the point of playing? I mean, <clears throat> overall, you know, I've I've been a Fallout fan for for a nominal amount of years, but I and and I suppose in the aspect of what's the point of playing, it's just it's a new experience. I mean, the thing people have to understand. I I see why it's you know a hated game, why people don't like it, how the devs screwed up. But no, in all retrospect, in order for any game to achieve anything, you have to change. 
you can't carbon copy the same game with a different name and a different story and then expect to get you know anywhere but if you you know change up a thing here and there or do what fallout did and basically push everybody to its fullest extent take out like everything it's different it is it is different and it's hard it's really hard like i think i've died probably about a hundred times and i've only played it for like two days wow that sounds like not fun at all but but you know i will say this that sounds a large amount better at least and in, in the general mindset of like than Elder Scrolls, which is why you have to give people the benefit of the doubt. Like, Elder Scrolls was a big bust. Not to a lot of people. And if I offend somebody with that, I apologize. But Elder Scrolls Online was a big shit show for me. So when it comes to games like that, I'm I'm hesitant. Like, usually, you know, I'll go on record and I'll tell my friends exactly what I'm buying through the holiday season. Because I'm like, I want to play this shit. Y'all want to play with me. I know you do. Let's get it. So, but Fallout 76 didn't make that list. And I'm not sure if I'll get it eventually. I'm actually looking more towards the Division 2. Pew. Um, but aside from that, I don't... Uh, I'm not sure. Um, see, I I don't know. I kind of go... So I look at the reviews, and a lot of people have said, like, you know, Fallout 76 isn't like Fallout. You know, it, it is, but it isn't. And that, that was probably, like, the most medium uh, post that I could find on, on the Reddit of, of this. But then the ones that were really, really talking, like they didn't like the game, which is like this game, you know, it, it sucks. It's, it's not Fallout. I mean, I don't even, they say that it's not worth the play. And to me, I feel like for something to draw me into the game, it has to have M- NPCs. There's no way. Like, I can't imagine going to a town and there being no people. That's what makes Fallout Fallout. You know, you're talking about True. the the companions and everything that, you, I mean, yeah, okay, your friends are in there, but... How are you supposed to create a story with your friends? You need to have something to follow. I mean, like that's why we do it. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be a main character because there's so many people. But even if it's like, okay, all you are from this vault and you need to basically go out and scavenge for supplies because we're all gonna die here. I mean, of course that's not it because all the survivors, you know, leave the vault. But I'm saying like, even if it was a mass story about everybody in the game or they had something at least that you could follow. That would make this game better. I, I would definitely go for it. Excuse but me. like, excuse, excuse me. Really glad. Yeah. Boy, raising his hand. Um, um, you say that it has to have NPCs, but I remember a couple years ago you were on that Minecraft grind, big fella. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and there's no completely story. different. But no, okay, <laughs> it's not this, completely no, but, different. This yeah, is it just is. big is man because, Minecraft. No, but no, because it is. Because you look at Fallout. And it has always been about the story. It has always been about what is your character going to go through now. In Minecraft, you, you, there's two types of players in Minecraft. There's either going to be the ones that stream and play with their friends and create this really good world or whatever. And then there's the people who join to blow up those people's worlds. That's it. Dude, so that's the two people. Got, all, play- he, all they did was they said, hey, here's Fallout 76. Now, this is the multiplayer for our last game. We didn't put it in there. Sorry. My bad. We didn't have time to put NPCs in. But here you go. We'll figure it out later on. Like, it, it wouldn't be the first. What was that other game? The other game. The, the one that just came out. It was about space. Y'all know what I'm talking about? And it had nothing. It was just planets and you could fly yeah, to we're different talking planets. about No Man's Sky. Yeah, No Man's Sky. They pulled the whole turnaround. It's like a 40 gig update, but they added uh, you know, weapons and NPCs and all this stuff. So it's not like the game can't get it in the future. Oh, yeah, no. I agree but with that. They... Fallout, when it comes to Fallout, I definitely feel like it's like I feel they like... had one or two options. Either call it a different game and be, or is call it the same Fallout 76, but right now they're getting more hate because it's not, like you said, it's not like the rest of the games. I mean, uh, I personally think, like, I know that they can add this stuff, and and I know this game, maybe in a year's time, is going to be great, because you think about World at, or World War II when it launched, that game was broken. Like, you could not play. It was just, it was not finished, and that, that's what that Fallout is. all the way through. And... That's, that's the thing about Fallout 76 is it got launched without being finished. If they would have finished it, if they would have pushed it back like Red Dead Redemption did, where they were like, okay, we can push this game out to you and it'll be good, but we want to make this game great. 
and they 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 took their time they they pushed back the day and they said all right we're going to take a little bit more time yeah maybe putting npcs and all that is a lot to ask for to do in a couple of months and i and i and i agree with that but i feel like they should have pushed it back a little bit more because nobody was expecting this we were all like expecting some news about other scrolls 6 we weren't sitting here waiting about an online multiplayer Fallout game. We were waiting to see what was going to happen next in Elder Scrolls Six. This came out of nowhere, bro. That's because the far, the, the gaming community is on such is is on such like a weird economy. Like it's like they feel like they have to put out a game almost every year in order to compensate for the sales they're missing, especially as a single player game. The only thing that keeps like games like Red Dead alive is that the multiplayer kept bringing out like things that were so expensive you had to spend half your paycheck to pay the money to actually get those items it's like they feel like they're in a situation where they need to make you pay for a new game or else you're gonna forget about them and move on to something else even though all of those developers are like man i don't i don't really know what to do here i mean all right like dude this is what i think they should have done honestly instead of you know spending millions of dollars to build a new game from scratch they should have done a mass update on Fallout 4. Be like, pay 30 bucks to play this or 40 bucks or whatever they want. And you just go to a, an expanded Fallout 4 world and you have what you have already plus the players. And I feel like that would have been fine. You know, so yeah, I bet that it took more to make that game or advertise and ship that game than it did to, for them to make it. Mm. And, and I, I don't know. To me, it's just like, if they would have done it to a game that was already finished and just put... A bunch of polish on top to be like, here you go. It's just a mass update. Or that's add, what, add another section that's what I want. Yeah, game. they could have extended that game a lot more. It didn't feel like it came out too long ago. And like, that's the what I want for Black out. Ops. Black Ops 4. I want that to be the Call of Duty that's, that they say, oh, man, you know what? These sales are nice. Let's just upgrade it. Let's just add more to it and let make this a continuous game. World of Warcraft has been going on for like, 10 plus years, more than that. We can make this happen. Exactly. I mean, look at Destiny before Destiny 2 came out. Oh, let's not talk about that. Let's hey. not talk about that. <laughs> but, but, talk come on, that dude. That game, that game was recycled so much. Whether it was good or bad, it was recycled. until yeah, they, they recycled a good $200 off of me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly my point. But the thing is, you still paid for it. That's what I mean. Is hey, the, don't call me out like that, bro. Don't talk about our mistakes. <laughs> All of you paid for that. Thing. It was just the reskin. It's just the reskin. <laughs> I feel You're personally buying it for the new stuff. Oh okay. man! All right, all right, all right. See, see now, see now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this in here. See, going back to what you were saying about, you know, feeling like they need to release a game, you know, every year, every year, you know, because they got to keep up with the competition. See, what I feel they should have done is they should have taken Ubisoft's approach to it with Assassin's Creed, because you remember that one time where they were re- releasing a game every year, and it was literally just reskin with off. different story, and then they took that year off. And then boom, Origins. Yeah, and this. Origins and it's a amazing. whole different game. Yeah, yeah, it's a whole different game. It's not even like Assassin's Creed. Yeah, it was mind blowing. Like I, when I played Origins, I cried. I'm not gonna lie. The the opening cutscene, I cried like a little bitch. I cried. It was so beautiful. It was so magnificent. It was such an immersive story. It, they changed so much. And then oh, what they the do the next year with one of his nipples hanging out. So I don't know what you were crying about, but <laughs> the nipple man is too don't, beautiful. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't take this from me, man. But right. I mean, it. like, and then the very next year, what do they do? They release Odyssey. What happens with Odyssey? Odyssey is almost the exact same thing. Yeah, that's actually a great point. He's got uh, because, a great point. So, so because let me, let me because they way. didn't take that year. <laughs> 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 okay okay well, next Let's, right, what were you like, saying? this is this is my thing just to kind of end, end end this one what do you think since you have paid you have played so or you have played this game what do you think they need to add in order for it to be like all right i need to go buy this game okay so i i do think that yes some npcs i mean and you know add a little bit of backbone to it because right now it is literally just like it's like a mass of cells, you know, it's a web, but there's nothing keeping this together. It's literally just, oh, hey, online, you know, go play with your friends, go kill stuff, blow stuff up. Yeah, but if they were to add 
you know, a little bit of a backbone to it. And if they were to add, you know, some NPCs to, you know, give this, this is like ramen noodles without, you know, the flavor packet. It's, it's noodles, but it's not good. No, ramen noodles with the flavor packet is chips. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I mean, it's food, but it's not good food. You'll eat it if you have to, but. All right, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, let's just, all right, so basically they have that, and that's what we all agree on. So let's just move on to the next topic, which I believe was, is Fallout, or not Fallout, is Fortnite Game of the Year. Oh, no, 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 bro. Game, oh. Fortnite won Game of the Year last night. Uh-huh. Game of the Year. You won uh, go, the Golden it Joystick. Is. It is the Game of the Year. <laughs> is I it? will give it to him. I back it up. It really? Game. Calm down. I back it's, it up. I'm gonna def- I will be the unpopular dude. opinion. I don't no. Care. Stop. Okay. Dude, no. Right, no, no, no. Go no, back to the whole point months just, ago. Go back to the whole What game were you getting on to play? Every day. What game were you getting on to play? Fortnite. Right. Let me New have skins. New let me skins, have, battle pass, let me, everything. Let me, I'm, I'm gonna use SpongeBob as my oil. Let, let me offer this as a rebuttal. What else was there to play? Hey man, that's 2K. a good point. Two K. Yeah, that, that, that is yeah. really. Uh, Two K was not two K. No, that's 2K. a demographic. That's a demographic. You have to be in the We're, We're talking about the masses. <laughs> Call of Duty was a game for the masses, and World War Two let people down. AKA. Yeah. Fortnite took up the mantle. Yep. I I mean I agree, but th- there was nothing else. There's nothing to compete with it. Every I mean, other game was out of its cycle. But gonna, can you bash them for that though? You can't bash them for that. Okay, but they put look, out a good actually, game. Hey, hold on, hold on. Obviously, it's, people wanted to play the game, so you can't blame the game for coming out at a perfect time. Is it is it that people wanted to play it, or was it just because of the hype? Because let's be honest, all the people who downloaded hype. that, all the people who downloaded it was that, hype game, how many that led of those to people, people liking the game. You got to think about how many people would like a game that they just never try, so they'll never know if they like it. All right, let me let me put it this way, okay? You have an inside joke with your friends, right? You want to know what that joke is? That's what it was. Everybody was playing for it, and everybody was talking about it. You're like, what the hell is this? You download the game, you played it, and whether you liked it or not, you did what you did, and you already downloaded it, and you added numbers to how many downloads they had. This is true. This is I'm true. A- I ain't even going to lie. No, no, no. Here's the big thing. Here's the sad, honest truth. Mason, we play video games a lot, and you and I both only picked up Fortnite, only downloaded Fortnite because we were waiting on PUBG to come to console. Yeah, that's the I'm sad, honest that. truth. No, no, I'm saying that, but that's just, that's how many other people do you think did the same exact thing? Oh, it's a it's a one of those battle. Like royals? I said, can you blame the game for coming out at a perfect time? I'm not blaming the game, but does it deserve game of the year when it's only a pretty much exclusively multiplayer? How many people paid for the si- single player that almost most uh, 80% of the, the community can't play? I'm sorry, but that's not a full, complete game. I, an update every week to, to the core effort of the game, to the core map of the game, core ma- mode of the game doesn't seem like a finished game to me. Okay, wait, th- that's my thing too. The game wasn't even finished. That was, that's technically... Either way, still. Listen, listen, they listen, never listen, came listen, out of listen, bait. Listen, hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. Have we ever seen a game do what Fortnite has done this it past year? It was yes. COD Four Modern free. Warfare. Yeah, COD Modern Warfare. Yeah. It, it was not to scale as how this game is. I, no, I'm no, so let, let me put this because this anybody that's ever reviewed Fortnite will tell you it's the biggest thing since COD Four Modern Warfare. So, all right, let me let me put it to you I, this way. Go back, go back to COD Four. On a warfare, and if that game was free to play when it launched, how many people do you think were playing that? How many think you? How many Probably people do you think would be playing Blackout? How fast do you think Blackout would grow if it was released free today? It would be insane. Everybody would be I don't playing. Think, I don't think it would be as much as Fortnite. All right, subtract the seven-year-olds that are playing it. Because their moms okay. won't let them but, play the yeah, yeah, let, yeah, let, No, let, no, no, no. So, that's not fair. Not because no, it is fair. It is fair. It is fair. No, because young gamers. Young gamers are just as important. We have to all remember that we were part of that I, demographic that I made know, young I gamers. No, I know. Oh hell no! Hold on. When I was in Monoverse Two and I talked on a mic and I got destroyed because some kid told me to go back to school. 
Nah, see, we don't do that to those kids. Let's be honest. They come. Oh, I do that to those play. kids. I do that to those kids. Well, you're we, a terrible we got, person. We got abused. We got <laughs> abused in, in Call of Duty lobbies. We had to take that abuse. And yeah, one... you got to give it back. You know, pay it forward. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me, dude. Oh, man. All right. All right. So if if that wasn't game of the year, what what could have been? Dude, okay, we got so many things. Most of them are PS4 exclusives. What do you think I switched to PS4 for? You yeah, got God of War, who oh, completely yeah. reinvented itself. Controller. Completely reinvented itself. Added a whole new gaming mechanic. And wowed everyone. Spider-Man. The only thing that was wrong with Spider-Man was the fact that it got taken down a little bit graphically. But, I mean, eh. But Spider-Man. Phenomenal game. Had people in tears. So many people in tears. Detroit, Detroit, Become Human, that game, phenomenal, most interactive game I've seen in years. And then we have the, lo and behold, Red Dead Redemption 2. That's a good point. That did not pave the way for Grand Theft Auto 6 that we've already talked about. I, uh, for me, I don't think, I don't think an award should get, I I don't think an award should be given to a game that's not even finished. Well, then no games would really get rewards. That's the thing. No, is, oh, but I'm men- talking no, about... Hold on. The mentality of most of these game developers and companies is we're going to drop it when we said it's going to drop, and we're going to fix it as we go because we need money. Okay, That's but, how it is. But wait, what, what wait, I'm wait. talking about is, like, the game honestly says... I don't know if it still says, but when it, would became, when it was becoming the biggest thing ever, it said beta. True. And it was a beta. You know, if 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 you're playing Call of Duty Black Ops 4 during the beta, what you know what I'm saying? Like that, and you awarded the best the best game, and it hasn't even launched yet. Say it launches in January, but you played the beta back in October, and you yeah. call it game of the year. Like that, yeah, okay. Maybe you up, you updated it, and you still haven't launched the game for whatever reason. I am not sure why they haven't even. What else are you gonna add to Fortnite? You know what I'm saying? I don't know why they don't already release the game. Multiplayer is a thing that should not be sanctioned by Game of the Year. That just shouldn't happen. And I'm de- and it's based on the fact that multiplayer always needs to constantly evolve and it'll never be a complete game. There's no balancing it. There's no making people happy. It just doesn't happen. But what should... Um, like, going back from the days where we were playing on Sega's, all of those games were talking about, like, stories. There were stories. There were single-player things that had us engaged, that kept us playing, that made us happy inside. When we would come home and we would play it, and we played that game by ourselves. And I'm not saying every single-player game should be, like, deemed as, you know, uh, a game that should be game of the year. But those games with respectable stories, graphics, non-game-breaking glitches, things that make the, the... Like, when you end that game, when you see those end credits, you're just like, wow, that was one of the best experiences I can honestly say I've had in my life, which is what happens when you play Red Dead, which is what happens when you play God of War, and which is what happens when you play Spider-Man. Aside from that, I don't think that that game should have won that. I really don't. I, don't I feel like it needs. I feel like it, it in this sense. Like I feel like you guys have great points, and I never, I never said that. Like uh, Fortnite. Uh, let me let me figure out how to word this. I guess because <laughs> like I'm not going back on what you I said. Because I think, no 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 no. I agree that it should be game of the year, but I'm saying it should only be game of the year due to the numbers that it did. I get. I give you one better. How about this? How about it shouldn't have been game of the year? You give me that, and I give you it should be best multiplayer of the year. But, but games come down to the numbers at the end of the day. Yes, it's about no. how nice they. No, no, no. It's no, about how much not. they sell. Because okay, wait a minute. No, it's not about down, that. No, that's not. Game, no, no, no that's of. that's that's your corporate mentality going. That's your corporate mentality going. I'm not talking not about like from our no, yeah, yeah, I'm not going. talking about from our point. I'm talking about from their point. But that's what not the they do to release the game that is going to sell the most. Dude, no, that, and that's, that's how it's judged. It's not that's stupid, but that's judged. the no. It's not. That's not how it's judged. We vote on that. That was nominated the game of the year because of hype. That's the simple truth about that. But that is not how that goes. That is not how that should be. It is not about numbers because no matter what, if a game has absolute phenomenal numbers and the game tanks, it doesn't get game of the year. The only thing that happened here was a bunch of seven-year-olds saw a cool emote. 
aka floss and they were doing it in class and everybody's where'd you get that from and then they were doing it and their moms were doing it and ali a became famous off of lies and that's all how that went down see that's what i agree with and what game did you get as game of the year but th- that's the thing, though, for it. We're not talking about where it got it. We're asking, wh- mm. like, we're talking about, like, why did it get it and should it have earned And it did it earn it and should all, it have got it? It earned it because saying, of all the people playing it. Dude, all I am saying, no, all right. Go, it go controlled the Twitch. internet. Go look on Twitch. Fortnite has 32 million followers, more than any game. Exactly. And, yet, and yet every single day, the amount of people watching it, it sometimes is on top. Otherwise, it's Call of Duty 4 right now or anything hot. It has the same amount of people, like the gamers who are sitting there, all right, I'm going to play Fortnite. And then you have the seven-year-olds or the pe- the people who came off a of hype. Cause they're Let like, me ask you this Fortnite? question. Let me ask and you they're playing it. Let me ask you this question. League of Legends. Did it dominate the internet? For a long time, yeah. Let me ask you this question. CSGO, did it dominate the internet? Yeah, I mean, we saw the prize pools on this. I got another question. It was crazy. Did World of Warcraft dominate the internet? Yeah. None of those games won Game of the Year. Ever. This is a popularity contest, and that's the simple fact of the matter. It's not about what games mean and how well they were put out. It's about how many seven-year-olds you can get to suck on your teeth, and that's it. Okay, but that's a good job on them, then. No, it's not. It's not. They they didn't. They no, no. All because right. their game was wasn't popular based on the fact of their original concept. Their game was popular based on their follow up concept. It's not a good job on them. All they did was piggyback PUBG, and you can tell me what you want about it. That's that's what happened. But at the end, <laughs> but you're, the not, you're not. You're not understanding. Can't. No, man, you they can't talk about a numbers. Good job you're, of what they did. You can't talk about numbers though, because that you're talking like in the but corporate sense. It's not about them. It's not about the player. It's exactly. Not about the creators of the game. It, it's, it's okay. about the fact that to me, to me, if you bring up the numbers, you bring up the numbers about um, about Fortnite. How many people played it? How many people downloaded the game? And then you're looking at it now, uh, and you're looking. Let's let's take this example: Call of Duty for, or not Call of Duty for Black Ops Four right now. All right, Activision saw how well they did. They're like, all right, man, that's our money. We made our money back. Good job. Now let let me tell you this: How is Vondahar gonna feel? If everybody's like, man, Black Ops 4 sucks. Corporate's not going to care. Corporate doesn't give a crap. They made their money back. But what didn't make their money back, or what would bother Ronda Hart is nobody likes this game. You think he's going to sit there and be like, nobody liked this game. Uh, I mean, it is what it is. Try again in the next three years. Hell no. He's going to be like, what's wrong with this game? And let's fix it. And Epic, the Epic does what? Fix things that aren't even broken? Or because Ninja says, I don't like this, take it out, and it's gone? Can you hear me now? Oh, I'm... Yeah. All right, oh. now do your little reintro. Do your little, sorry, we had technical difficulties. And then start talking. Wait, wait, wait. wait no, I never stop. No, we can just cut that part. Okay, whatever. Wait, yeah, sorry, yeah. we had technical difficulties. No, Anyways, it. Mason, <laughs> Mason, I see what you're saying, dog. Actually, I want y'all to know I put my mic on mute, and that's why we had technical difficulties just now. Anyways. I see what you're saying, man. But if it was just about the numbers, then there's so many other games that really did massive amounts of damage. Now I realize the. I think it's. I, I think it's. It's hype that gave them this award. I don't. I really don't think it's about their actual success. I get, Well, I guess in a way it does translate. The 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 the, the numbers translate into the players translating into nominating for the game so i guess it is i guess it is numbers but uh, at the end of the day like i guess what i'm what i'm saying is my my like i said my point earlier is that i guess the game of the year award it, it's 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 something for me based on the fact of you know it used to be about so much more than just you know this game well, yeah and i'm not i'm not taking that away from you i agree with that like i said i i said that Fortnite deserves the award because of what they did. I don't think that it's the best game graphically. I don't. It doesn't have a storyline. It doesn't have any of that. It's a strictly a multiplayer game, really. Nobody plays that for the single player. And it won based off of what you said. The the kids that played it, it it met it met the most demographics, in my opinion. All right. 
Uh, Zach, What's you want to give any of this? Oh, wait. I forgot about you. You've been yeah, so you haven't been talking. Is the boy dead? I, I feel like he, he fell dead. asleep. Somebody no, check his pulse. Hello? Okay. Well, well, he's dead. Moving on. Okay. Well, then. Bro, just cut off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, we have our last topic, boys and girls. Today, we're talking about if movies like the Pikachu detective movie. I knew like, it. What, no, I knew how did you come back? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was here the whole time. It was just, I, I also kind of like. You know, Jab, I, I muted my mic and then I tried to talk again after unmuting it and it didn't work. Alright. Well. Anyways, now that we both fucked up, are movies like the new Pikachu live action movie perpetuating a cycle of terrible cartoon to live action movies? Yes. Yes. I don't know how many movies I've seen recently that I've watched as a kid or watched recently. Uh, even some animes, because of Netflix, thank you, Netflix, have been taking over and trying to make their live-action remakes. <laughs> Death Note. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Death Note is pretty <laughs> terrible. Dragon um, Ball. Um, <laughs> yeah, Dragon Ball was a couple years back, and we don't talk about that. Anyways, <laughs> I really feel like they need, they're need they running out of ideas, and for that, I would rather them take time to wait and come up with ideas or even take some like lesser known people's ideas and run with those see if you can improve those rather than taking what you know that's already been done and some things that you can't just recreate like some things you can't recreate with graphics or gfx and make it look real and make it have that same feel because some things are meant for cartoons because you can't break that type of boundary inside of real life you can't make people believe that you can't put that in someone's brain and like them be able to compute that because they're just going to pick it apart and so it's like why even do this like why even waste time to even make this type of stuff when you can be making things that are actually like new and reinvent and make people think and make people wonder and make people like amazed like give the same enjoyment that i had as a kid watching teenage mutant ninja turtles the live action version by the way and then put it on the big screen like i've been here around since these marvel movies even came on the scene when they were first created by fox and now i'm watching them spread over and i'm seeing these tons of people coming into the room and i'm just like wow it's crazy because even some most of you haven't picked up a comic book before and this is this is crazy, but Marvel's the only people that actually create actually great movies that depict what were I read in the comic books. So I, I mean, I don't know. Sometimes they well, well, what do you what do you think about the Scooby Doo movie? Because they totally made a live action one with that, that based was, off of the cartoons. That was good as a kid, but the, looking at it now, you're just like, why? What yeah. is this? This is not I'm not going to lie. I, I let my immaturity get the better of me, and I still kind of like those Scooby-Doo movies. <laughs> hey, man, that's what I was about to say. I, I watched it, like, two months ago, and I was like, Yeah, I, I watched hey, it man. a ago, and I was like, yeah, I still love this. I still love, you know, the burping contest and the farting contest. That was it's my that was still blows my mind. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Was, all right, I just all thought right. it was funny to so, watch real people do it rather than like the cartoon. Rather than just, yeah, like, rather than just the cartoon. Exactly. Okay, okay but what if, what about a cartoon taking it in, in like a completely different direction? Like you're talking about like the Teen Titans, what it was before and what it is. Oh now. my god, do not go. Well, yeah, but but I will not talk about <laughs> Titans on this yeah, show. Let, let, let us not talk that, not at least not today. Not that's, today. That's dude, microwave biscuits right there. Like, dude, like, dude, dude. I just let me let me reiterate on this. I have problems. Now, mind you, I get to talk about this because I'm black. But they <laughs> made our fire black and then didn't even put cyborg in that movie in, in that show. And they expect me to watch it. And because I've already dealt with their trash with Arrow, their trash with the Flash, and DC Legends of Ass. So I don't understand why they want me to sit through this again. Let alone, Robin said, fuck Batman in the first ten minutes of the damn show. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. So, so, so what about, like, an extension? Like, how do you feel about, like, for example, I saw an ad the other day about, I don't know if you've seen this or not, but about, and this is what it's called, it's called Baruto, which is the son of Naruto. Oh, yeah, no, that was awesome. That, that show's awesome. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you know hate on that one any because to be quite honest, I still I'll still watch it. I'm still gonna Listen. you know play the games related to it. 
because I go, mean, like Mason's just not getting into Naruto, so I'm not gonna spoil anything. But when you go from Naruto to Naruto Shippuden, and then to Bar, like Baruto is like, yeah, okay, I'll watch it because when you see such a drastic change from like the martial arts and the effects and the story that happened between now, mind you. Naruto, the original, like, mm-hmm. the original set, set of episodes made me cry. Okay. So, yeah. like, watching that, now when you move on to, like, Naruto Shippuden, then, yeah, you're excited for the next, like, reiteration, the next edition, the next, you know, we're moving on. It's, it's exciting. But, like, when you say, oh, hey, this is this great show, let's try to make it into a show. Like, because that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to appeal to more people. They think if it's real live or if it's live action, that more people would be into it because, oh, that's a real person doing that. That's not That's not what you do. You do that, and then you completely wipe away most of the people that watched the actual anime or the actual cartoon. Yeah. Like, all of those people really don't fuck with that. No, like, if I want to, okay, like, for example, we're going to we're gonna bring up, you know, a list of a couple, like, uh, Death Note. Love the anime. Hate the live action. Mm-hmm. Bleach. Yeah, the live action. Love the yes. anime. Hate the fucking live action. Let's see. Full Metal Alchemist. I'm not totally against the live action, but it was not the animation one. E- they even, you know, brought back, like, they completely, like, revitalized Full Metal Alchemist, the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Mm-hmm. I even accepted that. But not, not the full action or live action. No, I, I just can't do it. It's, I mean, I, I see what they're trying to do, you know. It's, but it's, 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 it's hit or miss. And ninety nine percent of the time, it's a miss. Period. What I will say is that with this new, with this new Pikachu movie, that I'm excited about it for the simple reason of. I'm curious to see what the furry Jigglypuff's about. I'm not sure how to feel about that yet. Secondarily, Ryan Reynolds plays the voice, and Ryan Reynolds' voice acting, whether it's Deadpool to his advertisements on that new Toon Blast game, he makes me laugh. He's a very funny guy because he's so deadpan about most things, and that's just, you lose that in a lot of today's comedians. So right now he's very he's very funny to me and i cannot wait to see that based on the fact that i feel like there's also going to be some semi-adult jokes in there that would be pretty funny um i i even called this i before before you got here i called that that was going to be one of the reasons why you probably wanted to see it is because brian reynolds is deadpool Yeah, yeah, I'm really, I'm, I, I am, I'm excited. I'm not gonna lie, but I do not like the idea of it. I, when I saw it, when I actually saw the commercial for it, I was like, you know, this is, uh, this is, I, I don't know if how I feel about this, but I, you know, when you hear Ryan Reynolds' voice, you're kind of just like, okay, well, I guess I can deal with it. So I, I don't know. I, I definitely think that if they're going to do live actions, they should give people a reason to check it out a little bit further, or and even give the because. Even as a nerd, I'm kind of like, you know what, I'll wang through it because, you know, um, Deadpool was so good in both of the, you know, the iterations that I'm like, OK, I'll I'll weather this storm just to see how well it turns out, because it could be a diamond in the rough. But I think yeah. that not a lot of people have the budget like that. So you end up having these live action movies that kind of fall off. Like, I don't know if you saw the attack on Titan one. I did not. But I did not hear good things. Yeah, it was it wasn't very good. It was not very good. But um. Yeah, I don't know, Mason. What about you, man? You know, this isn't my best genre to talk about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like. I don't have anything to connect to this, really. I mean, I said the Scooby Doo movie. I don't feel like this Pokemon thing is going to be good at all. I have no hope for this movie. <laughs> Not even with Ryan Reynolds. I, I love him just as much as you do. It's just, like, they could put anybody in that role. I don't think it's going to go well. See, like, to me, a freaking Adam Levine isn't even an actor. But, like, I feel like even if he was in the movie, I wouldn't <laughs> fucking like it. Why is he your go-to? That's such a weird thing. Yeah, he's funny. just, like, he's, like, great, dude. Like, even if he was in it, you're not getting my fucking 20 bucks to go see that movie. It's Wait, just going to be trash. What about The Rock? What if The Rock was in it? No. Not even if Kevin <laughs> Hart was in it. Well, if Kevin Hart and The Rock were in it, then you'd have to go because that would just be hilarious. No, but it would. Just, well, no, like, I don't think they like, would be funny. Just somebody in the throwing a real life Pokeball little... just looks so stupid to me. He's not throwing a Pokeball. All the Pokemon are already out. 
They're already out. So he's not going to be like running up to random things in the wild throwing damn pokeballs at them. No, they're already out. This is part of that. You know, you don't remember that the, those series of games where the Pokemon detectives were just running around as Pokemon. You're talking, you're talk, you're talking about uh, the Pokemon um, mystery dungeon and stuff. Yeah, yeah, those. Like it's he's they they just walk around with you in this one. They don't they don't shoot out a Pokemon. I mean, I'm not gonna say they're not gonna have a Pokemon duel, but generally in that type of situation, from what I've seen, they do not have any Pokeballs. So what, what the hell fun is it gonna be? You're not battling. You're not. You're not. I mean, they still them. fight and stuff. They still fight and stuff. So they he's do. gonna be standing behind him, being like, "Pikachu, use fucking lightning bolt or whatever the fuck." No, 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 not like that. They fight on their own, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Either way, ass. I, I think ass I'm. Catch I'm, I'm gonna give this one a shot. I'm gonna give this one a shot for the sole sake that I think Ryan Reynolds might be able to save it. Oh my god! Just I for that, just only do so much. The smallest chance that he might be able to save it, I'll give it a shot. Yep, yep. I'm gonna have I to get my out. twenty bucks. Although the thing that I'm most looking forward to, I, you know, we, 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 we'll we'll finish off this next like you know couple minutes of ah, what what are you guys looking forward to most this year? Have you guys seen any movies that you guys are interested in? Any movies? Um. Oh, I want to see Creed no. two. I, I don't, don't generally watch Creed two. Oh, Creed two. Yeah, that comes out tomorrow. No, th- Thursday. Thursday. Tuesday. Tuesday. I believe. You gonna go see that um with your family this weekend or something? Try to see try to do that? Eh, maybe, I don't know. I'm trying to work it out. Movie uh, you know. Yeah, facts. I uh I'm excited about Avengers two in twenty nineteen. Uh, well, I'm I mean, you know, with all the good. hype around well not hype around him dying, but <laughs> Stan Lee. <yeah. laughs> Yeah, that's another thing. I don't, I'm not trying to backlash. And by the way, anybody that's watched up to this point, we probably won't cover Ninja again. Not, well, not not for a little not, bit. Yeah, He's not not in the mirror. We did it twice. But uh, but uh, that was another thing he did that kind of irritated me. The day Stan Lee died, that was the first thing he put in his title. He's like, "Rip Stan Lee, my new merch is out," and I'm like, "What?" <laughs> God. But I'm not gonna cuss. <laughs> but, but we seriously did that one. That one's kind of low blow. You know what I mean? It's like it's yeah. like the same weight as Morgan Freeman died. But hey, buy my Yeezys. Like, <laughs> like I don't know if you can make that a part of your I sales. I hate him pitch. so much. No, no, I, no. That that bothers the ever. Li- See, I don't pay attention to you know other streamers very often, but. That hear, hearing that, I'm I'm a little infuriated. I'm not gonna lie. Like you, you can't turn, you know, a legend like Stan Lee. You can't turn his story into your sales pitch. No, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean personally, I, I I feel like I feel like I, it, what what makes it sad is that like I just don't feel like he's as big as he feels he's, he is and that's kind of the, the issue here like i don't know i can understand the rest of peace part but i don't like the merch part you know what i mean like i can respect the rest of peace stanley maybe even people didn't know about it and the first thing they do when they get home from school is check out your stream i feel it when x died he put rip x in his stream even though he doesn't really even know who x was he didn't even know who x was but that's fine but um you know for a lot of people that didn't know who X was, like, you know, I'm not going to get on that because that makes me sad. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I think that's. On that. <laughs> I don't think, have a comment on that. I think we have, uh, I think this is the end of the show, guys. I think we've, we've made it through a successful another video. Uh, I think our boy, uh, what's his name is? Oh, Emilio yeah. had to drop out a little bit early, but that's fine. He'll be back in full swing next episode. Any uh, recommendations? On, like, drop them in the comments, please. Yeah, if you yeah. guys have anything absolutely that you guys would love us to talk about, then I would be happy to talk about. They would be happy to talk about, and that would be absolutely stellar for us to do. Uh, otherwise than that, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys leave a like down below, and, and if you guys enjoy the content, make sure you guys join the Unbearable and hit that hit sub that. button along with that bell so you guys can be notified on every single video and every single podcast i hope i see you guys in the next one peace say bye boy okay that was weird so is your beard